all right so welcome back so we are now going to start our coding proper okay sure um first of all i'm going to delete these because i don't i don't need them so this is how how our code will be so the next thing i'm going to do uh before we continue please um this tutorial actually i'm i'm making this i'm creating this uh, online shop for a client okay someone paid me uh, to develop an online shop for him so i'm using this opportunity to record it for you so the steps i'm going to take to build that powerful online shop i'm recording the whole process okay yeah so um let's keep going so the first thing i'm going to actually i'm going to actually type in the name of the organization Okay, it's actually a fashion shop, a fashion uh, organization. Okay, they own an academy, so they they have online academy and the and the physical academy here in Lagos where they teach fashion. So they also sew for clients too, in a large scale. Okay, I've built an academy for them. The academy looks like my own academy okay heroic academy okay they like my academy and they want something like that so i am now building online shop for them okay so i'm going to type in their name we are Lara. okay fashion like i would say fashion fashion accessories accessories training etc it can change some of these things they might adjust it when i'm done you can just put in what i think they do okay so this is what you see at the title of the website okay very good um good so the next thing now you know i we have uh we have a, our sketch so we are going to this sketch will be very helpful to us so we are going to create sections now this one is top bar section this one is the nav bar section this is a um, slider section okay now this one is uh, another section too so let's start let's create sections quickly quickly so the first thing I'm going to type in div so I'm going to just type in a section. I'm going to use section tag. Okay, section tag. Section. Okay. For this one, maybe a class. I'm supposed to put class. Okay, class. I type in class. Equals to, um, call it top bar. Top bar. Like this. Okay. For now, it's just be like this okay so i will just make one space i like making space maybe i might even type in description let me use description here it will be helpful so description will be helpful right that's comment will be helpful top bar section i can call it top bar section. top bar top bar section then close it then create another section maybe i will copy this one Okay, with this one, I'm going to change it to nav, nav section like this. Okay. Mm -hmm. So you call it nav bar, nav bar section. That's navigation section, call it nav bar section. Okay. I'll copy this one also. So I'll call it uh, slider section slider slider uh, maybe i can change it what am i going to call it now so I'll make it so it make more sense that is for this one no a slider will be here an advert will be here okay let me call it main main section 
main section I'm thinking of the best more descriptive uh, stuff to give it so that any way I see it I can easily remember it you understand okay description section okay let me say main desk section main description section okay I might change this letter I don't know let's leave it the way it is now okay then move down create another section um this one is okay what are you going to call it quality product um let me think quickly you know that place i uh, kind of talking about what you can offer okay and that's what i'm thinking now what you can give out to the public okay let me quickly think <coughs> okay i think i'll call it service service description so i'll call it the service okay good you know i'm not sending this description as a matter of fact so let me begin to send it now nav bar just nav bar nav bar section and this one main section main description section then this one is the service section service services description section service description section okay so we're getting there so let's check again so down here now we have a categories section okay copy this also say category section category that's a categories okay then you have to also change these categories awesome so this down here let's check again um, featured product section um featured let's change this one first Fisher Fisher underscore okay featured product section so I will just come here and say mm, I will just say product section because both featured product and other product section will be the same thing there won't be much difference for example you see this one and uh, this one are the same design the same everything so I'm going I'm going to use the same format for this and this you, you get that okay so I'm going to call it product just product 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 container simple product container that's a mistake I, I supposed to be putting container here container good okay to be the container of the product more or less okay all right so um i think we are getting there feature product section then this one uh, we are going to duplicate this also for advert section advert advert section okay you change this advert advert container good copy this also maybe this one let's copy this one for another product that is uh, to be latest product recent product yeah recent product or, or latest product whichever one you want to call it let's go call it recent product recent product section okay okay so you but you are going to leave it like this product container the way it is now then the last but not the least is footer section 
Tutta section. Change this to footer. Also, so change this to footer container. Awesome. I think we had, we've done justice to creating section for the home page. And uh, we did it well. All right. Thank you so much. We continue in the next tutorial. Thank you very much.